just came out by Sensational and it is from the What Lace Collection. Now a lot of you already know about the What Lace Collection. It became super popular on YouTube due to the fact that it had this really undetectable lace. I have Audrey and I actually got her in the color T2 Rose Gold. <laughs> It's pretty. This is the stock card, and it shows you all the colors that this wig comes in, and it also tries to compare and throw a little shade at other people's lace. Also, if you would like to know the details on this unit that I'm wearing right here, you can definitely look in the description box and click the link to see my review, or you can click the card that's above in this video. All right, y'all, so let's get into it. Look at this. I don't know if the true color is really gonna come out on this ring light, but the pink is gorgeous. Look at this lace, this pre-plucked hairline, and it does come with baby hairs. All right, y'all, I'm back. I actually had to switch up the scenery really quick. I decided to just use natural light to show you this because I didn't really like the way the color was turning out on camera under the ring light. Hopefully, you can see the color. It's very pretty pastel tinted color, like a rose goldy color. It reminds me of cotton candy, actually. <laughs> so, let's see what this wig is about. I'm gonna show you me cutting the lace, and I know some people like to cut lace on their head. I don't really like doing that. I know why people do it, but I prefer to do it this way. Okay, so compared to me, this lace is definitely light. We'll see what my powder can do once it's on my head. Oh my God, do you see how light that lace is? Sensational. Can we get a darker lace, please? Like, ooh. So here I'm just trying on the wig and I really love the style. Love the color, the cut, the curls. Everything looks super cute, but that lace, <laughs> y'all. They got to do something about that. I went to retrieve my face powder, which is by Black Radiance in the color Black Coffee. And I'm going to try to make this lace a little darker. So here I'm just covering the perimeter of my head with the Got To Be Glue gel in the black bottle. And I'm using the black bottle because that goes on clear, which was a tip from my girl Kai Rashawn. Right here I'm just now covering... The lace with the powder and we'll see how this goes <laughs> oh my god this lace the got to be glue should be getting tacky usually know if it's getting tacky if you just kind of touch it and it's like you know it feels a little sticky that's how you know so let's put this back on So right here, I'm moving the wig up to my hairline and I'm starting to press it down. Now, normally you should use a comb or something with a maybe a metal end to press it down. I just grabbed my pick because that was the closest thing to me at the time. The ear tabs did come by my ears a little bit, but it wasn't a big deal. Here I'm just taking my foundation brush and pressing in a little bit of foundation into the hairline to make it blend a little bit better. It was hard blending this, y'all. 
I mean, I don't know. This is supposed to be what lace, and I'm just like, what the fuck lace? Alright, now I'm going to use this got to be glue. So here I am just spritzing on the got to be glue freeze spray, which holds the wig in place. And I'm pressing it down with my pick once again. Yeah, you know, depending on the angle, sometimes it looks blended, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, but this style is everything. Oh, there I go, trying to put some baby hairs down on the side. I didn't want to put baby hairs all across because I really wanted y'all to see what the lace was looking like on my skin. All right, so I am back. I definitely struggled with laying this frontal. It's really my first time actually trying to lay a frontal for real. I had Celeste and I had trouble laying her, but after I watched my girl Kyra Sean's video and she used the clear got to be glue, I was like, I'm gonna try that. I think I did a much better job this time. So let me just get into my review of this unit. So let's start with the overall pros of this wig. The color is bomb. The style, the curl, and the cut is awesome. I absolutely love this hair for that. And also the lace parting is great too, 13 by four. As for the cons, it would definitely be some of the tangling that I've experienced. For it to be a short unit, I don't expect the tangling that I was getting straight out the pack. I think it's the quality of the hair. They should probably do like a human hair blend for this wig. And also the lace, if they can get that lace together, this whole line would be off the chain. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.